Today I'll introduce you to the Warp Studio. This is an exciting studio environment included in PhotoPlus where you can deform your image as if it had a liquid surface. As you can see, I've already opened my photo in PhotoPlus. To open Warp Studio, simply click its icon on the Photo Studio toolbar. On the left of the studio, you'll find a series of Warp tools. These are brush based and allow you to effectively paint on your image to apply warping. These tools are supported by a context toolbar at the top and a number of tabs which are located to the right of the workspace. Let's see some of these tools in action. First, the elastic warp tool which is selected by default. This tool can be used to push or pull the pixels under the warp brush around using the mouse. Drag across the image to shift pixels in the direction of brush motion. For all of the brush based tools, you can easily modify the brush size, hardness and strength on the context toolbar. If you're using a pen tablet, click Use Pen Pressure to work in conjunction with the strength setting and apply pressure sensitivity with your brush strokes. With the pinch tool, click or drag to squeeze the area under the brush. This applies a concave spherical distortion. The punch tool does just the opposite and applies a convex spherical distortion which appears to inflate or expand areas of your image. Get your photo into a spin with the twirl tools. These tools produce a spin artifact. The pixels appear to revolve either clockwise or anti-clockwise depending on the tool you chose. You may have noticed the History tab at the bottom right of the dialog. This records each time a tool is used in the studio. Click on an entry on the tab to effectively retrace your steps and go back to that point. Finally, the Push Left tool shifts pixels 90 degrees to the left of the brush direction. This gives the effect of spreading and compressing edges along the stroke. You can see that some areas of the photo surrounding the flower, for example the field and leaves in the background, have accidentally been warped as we've been editing our image. To protect certain areas of your photo from warping, you could paint to protect them with a mask using the mask brush from the toolbar on the left. A variety of masking options are available on the Options tab on the right. See Photo Plus Help for more information about masking in Warp Studio. For now, we can reduce the warping in those areas using the Unwarp tool. Select it from the toolbar on the left and then click and drag on your image to reduce the strength of the applied warp effect. For further control, you could adjust the Unwarp strength value on the context toolbar. This is currently set at 100%, which will remove all warping. Reduce this value either by dragging the slider or by editing the point in the box. This is great for making the effect less prominent without removing it altogether and starting again. Alternatively, you could unwarp all effects globally on the Options tab. On the tab, click Unwarp. In the dialog, drag the percentage slider to control how much warping is reduced. When you release the mouse button, the image will automatically update to reflect changes. Then click OK. I'm happy with the effect and now I'd like to save changes and return to the main workspace. To do this, I need to click OK on the right of the context toolbar. If you click Cancel instead or exit the studio by clicking Close at the top right of the dialog, any changes made will be discarded. And that's it. To find out more about PhotoPlus, see the Learn section of the Startup Assistant. Thanks for watching.